Would you like to have a web part that allows you to do a poll? A simple interactive web part where users can click and give their opinion on whatever topic you want to ask them about. Out of the box, SharePoint doesn't have a web part for you to do this, but this video is going to show you a template where you can set this up really easily and you'll allow your users to vote on whatever kind of topic you want and you can select their options. So now let's get SharePoint Smart. Okay, here it is. We've got the voting template. This is at SharePoint-Words.com. And right away, you can see what we're going for. We have a box, a card, if you will, where we're going to ask users a question and let them vote and give their response. So they're going to be able to click on these voting buttons. And then once they do that, those results are automatically tabulated and we see a bar chart which allows us to see what the response has been from the whole group. We can see how many votes have been accumulated. And importantly, we don't want to allow people to vote more than once. There's the funny saying, vote early, vote often. Obviously, everybody should only be able to vote one time, and this does block them from uh, voting more than once. The other aspect would be you may want to have a deadline for your vote. And so this does include that. You can indicate the day and time when voting should close and uh, that way uh, you can compile your results and then maybe you want to do another survey. In order to set this up you're going to have a SharePoint list and you do need to have special fields for this list. So I've already created a list. I just call my list voting. You can call your list whatever you want but that's probably a good name for it. And if we look down in the instructions area in the blue box it will tell us the fields that we need for this special template. Uh, there are quite a few fields, but they are easy to set up. If you just work carefully through the instructions in here, you should have no problem. We're going to have the default title field, which comes in every SharePoint list. Uh, you can leave that as is. Then you should add a multi-line plain text, which you will call voted. Make sure you use the field names exactly as indicated in the instructions. After adding that field, the next field will be a date time field called ends. This is indicating when voting is ending uh, for your poll. So make sure you name the field like that. In this case, do toggle on to do date and time, not just date, because we want to have that ability to control the time as well. After you have that field set, you're going to do a series of fields, which are text fields. These will be named choice one, then choice two, then choice three, and so on, all the way up to choice 10. That will allow for the possibility for the user to do any of 10 responses. Make sure that you do the field name exactly as shown in instructions no space in the field name. And then last but not least, you will have a series of number fields. These should be called votes one, then votes two, then votes three, and then all the way up to votes 10. These will be where the tabulation will happen to count up the votes. So there are quite a few fields to create. The good thing is that once you have uh, created those fields, you'll never have to do this again. So um, you do have a little bit of busy work at the beginning to get all your fields set up. Now, once you've created all those fields, you're going to go to your um, default view, your all items, and then uh, make sure that all fields are shown in the view. That is necessary in order for this template to work. Uh, go ahead and do save view as, and you're going to create a second view where we're going to apply the template. Um, that way we have one where we can um, 
go ahead and create the records and then we have another where we're going to apply the template okay so that's the busy work and once you've done that busy work then things are easy and fun okay once your list is created the next thing that you can do is go ahead and put in your first survey so I have one in mind that I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and enter that now where should we have our holiday party okay I'm going to end voting for this on Friday at 7 p.m. So I need to enter that time value there. It's at 7 p.m. That's what I want. And then voted, you don't need to enter data for that. That is used to record a semicolon delimited list of everyone who has already voted. So that's almost like a variable. You can ignore that. Now I need to enter my choice options. Now I have slots for up to 10 choices, but I don't have to use all of those slots. That's just the maximum number available to me. In my case, I want to provide four options for this voting. So I'm going to enter those now. These are the names of different restaurants and I want my employees to vote on which one they prefer for our holiday party. Whoops. Next one, Sizzlin Steakhouse. I just made these up. Uh, Steamy's Barbecue. And one more, say Southwest Tex-Mex. Okay, so those are my four options. That's all I need to do to get this ready to go. Now, obviously, this is just a plain vanilla SharePoint list at the moment. What I'm going to do next is come back to SharePoint dashboards. Now, when you get into this template, you have different options for themes. So you can really have whatever look and feel you want. I can do things like adjust the width of the card. I can adjust colors. I can adjust the height of the rows. All of these things are dynamic and they can work, you know, however I want. And that's entirely um, in my control. So for the sake of my example, I'm going to go with theme two. And I don't have to do much in this template. I'm just basically making this look the way that I want. Once I've done this and it looks how I want it to look and it looks um, right in this preview window, I simply need to click on copy template, follow the instructions in the box, click OK, and then I can come over to SharePoint. And remember, we made a second view. If you haven't done that yet, you want to. And this is the one where you're going to apply your template. In fact, I've already got one applied. Uh, let me replace that with the one I got. So what you will do is do format current view and I'm going to come in here and you simply replace the code and save. There's the one with the new look and feel that I want. We're all ready to go. Um, now, probably you would like to show this to users on a page in SharePoint, not just in a list view. And I'll show you how we do that next step. So I've already created a page where I want to put this poll and I just simply call that page weekly poll and I can link to this. This is going to be a little bit more user friendly. So in order to do that, I simply go into the page and I will hover and insert this. And we're using the list web part to display this. So click on list and then click on the pencil. And what you want to do is find that list. I know that I called my list voting. Next, I need to select the view. My formatted view is called voting. I don't want to show the command bar or see all, so make sure you get rid of those. And now I'm displaying it on a SharePoint page. And I probably want to change the title. So I'll go in there and I'll say participate in our weekly poll. Okay, that's it. That's all I need to do. So I can, you know, swap this out for you know, from week to week. Now, 
what you can do is, uh, you know, do filter views. So probably what you should do is create a view for each individual poll and you can filter to that individual record. So now I'm ready to vote and I'm going to vote for Tex-Mex. I like Mexican food. Um, so that's the one I'm voting for. I voted and I'm the first one to vote. <laughs> so there's uh, one vote for Southwest Tex-Mex and it shows one vote in the total. And notice I do not have the ability to, uh, you know, jack up the votes on this. Um, it says, thank you for voting. It knows that I've made my vote. And then also it says on the end, um, voting ends um, and it shows the, um, you know, the time for that. So if I go down here, or if I go back to here, you'll see that reflected as well. And I can go to the all items view and just to give you a little more insight on what's happening. If I go into these column values, you're going to see how many votes happened. Um, I've got one vote for votes for, and then the part that I mentioned voted. This is automatically recording a semicolon delimited list of everybody who's already voted. So that helps this um, formatted view keep track of that and make it so that people don't vote again. And then the deadline is going to work that even if I haven't voted, if the deadline passes, it's still going to display um, the view that um, won't have the voting buttons. This will change to voting ended and um, you know that would be a closed poll. All right, so that was the uh, what I'm calling the voting web part. You can see this can be used like a web part. And what's nice is after you do that um, drudge work, you know you have to set up the, the series of fields. You just have to do that one time. And now I've got something set up where I can go and do an interesting weekly poll. So this can be used for um, a fun way to engage with users. You can um, set something up maybe on a weekly basis. You could put this on a SharePoint homepage. It would be great there. It'd be good to collect that information. People like that. It's fun to see the opinions of their coworkers. You can find fun topics to vote on. Uh, makes for a more interactive experience instead of kind of that boring static web page, you know, without updates. Um, so this is easy to use. You can just go over to SharePoint-Boards.com. If you haven't used that tool before, you can sign up for free and get 21 free templates. All you need to do is give your name and your email. Um, and then if you want to take advantage of this template, um, this is part of a subscription that allows you access to 175 different templates with all kinds of interesting interactive ways to set up dashboards for users in SharePoint. So I think you'll find that stuff uh, pretty cool. I hope you found that interesting. And if you like this, um, you know, be sure to leave your comments or uh, you know, give an upvote on the video um, and share it with others uh, who you know, might be interested in this topic. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck.